y'all, I'm not exactly sure why, but this video has started over twice so far. Let me fix my little bunnies back here in my little dresser. Oh, where should I put this? This is my favorite blue Chanel, as y'all know. We'll put it right over here. Um, and this is one that I'm going to start using again because it's this time of year. Uh, the name of it is Organdi. It's 504 by Chanel. It's one of my favorite all-time polishes, especially for long nails because it's so neutral and nude looking. And so, yeah, here's my little, my little bunny. Bunny stepping up on a bunny to get up over the ledge. And this is my, um, one of my favorite candles. Oh, I just blew it out. Or oh, It's already gotten that hot. Okay, this is a Bath & Body Works 3 Wick. That may be why. They do get hot quick. And they do put off an awful lot of scent. So I have to be careful. I only do these for my husband at home. Which that implies he might be home. Um, this is the Paris Lavender Macaroon. And the reason I turned it around. Oh, that put that one out. Maybe I need to put them out. <laughs> Actually, you're supposed to let them burn at least an hour. So let's put them back on. And I probably should stand to do this so that I don't burn the house down. There. There. And there. Probably just shouldn't have been uh, swirling it around in the air, right? Because there is liquid wax in there, and we should be careful. Uh, anyway, so I was trying to film earlier, y'all, and my camera went off. I don't know why that happens. It almost always seems to be this one. So if y'all know the difference, it's when I'm using this disc. So some of you would say, then don't use that disc. It's this one. This little 32 gigabyte that's blue uh, SD card. And it's by HC, I guess. Y'all, my nails. Remember I cut them off? This is Peridot. Mm -hmm. I need to have them um, professionally removed and manicured. And so they'll be doing better. How y'all doing? I need to put on my makeup. I have just put on my uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect Renewal Cream when the camera went out. And so I already got that on. And I didn't even get to pat it in. And uh, I was talking about you can put lotion on these areas like what we call our little bulldog cheek. And this I always call the pimento cheese mouth. Mm -hmm just because my mom used to get pimento cheese in there, and I'd be like, Mom, pimento cheese. They're wrinkles, wrinkles that are structural, y'all. They're not going to change. They're not going to go away unless you just do one of two things. Smile all the time, which is a good way to make them go away. Much cheaper than having facial surgery because these are not wrinkles that can be fixed by moisturizers, mm -hmm. peptides, hyaluronic acid, any of that. None of that. This is structural. This has to be pulled up. And I don't know. For people who do it, good for them. I'm... I'm probably not going to do that. If I ever lose enough weight, I might have a little tuck right here if this starts like becoming a turkey neck. I don't know, though. Because when you have one thing done, then other things need work. It's just part of aging, so I don't know. I'm really struggling with my aging, y'all. Not in a bad way. I don't know. I, at times, it is in a bad way. I'm been kind of down about some of the things that are just part of being um, older. Now... That being said, I'm glad I'm older. But it's just, it is hard to watch kind of use, youthful things about yourself go. Um, and that's when we focus on ourselves too much, so it's best not to. Just enjoy the ride. <laughs> but anyway, I was going to use my uh, L'Oreal Hydrogenous Genius, but I don't need to because today I'm going to use my Bye Bye Full Coverage Moisturizer. This has a um, SPF 50 Plus. This is in the color Light. And it does have enough moisturizer in it. Actually, it is supposedly. I need to read up on it. But it's a moisturizer with makeup in it. So you don't need a moisturizer underneath this. I did my eyes because that's different. I don't put this on my eyes. And um, so I'm going to be using an IT Cosmetics uh, foundation brush from the Chic uh, Blush Collection. And I usually use a pump, pump and a half of this because uh, you don't need a lot. And I love that it's in a tube and it still has a pump. I really do love that. It just makes it really convenient. And um, one-handed trying to put it back on, though, isn't I can do it later. All right, I got it back on. Uh, anyway, this is really good coverage. And the last few times that I've put it on, 
Um, I always do down here because my cro my um, age spots are really heavy, so I want the most coverage right there. And then also, of course, either side of the nose and the nose, because this is where people look at you. And so you want really good coverage right in the center of your face. And then also just um, wherever you have an age spot or a blemish or anything that's pretty noticeable. Because um, you, if you do that, if you put down your first there, it's the heaviest. You still want to blend, of course. But um, you may not even need concealer afterwards for those blemishes. It just depends on how much coverage you want to have. And, um, like, I don't do a lot, you know, so I do a little swirl up here and that's it. Because I don't want a lot of coverage on my forehead. I don't want a lot of product on my forehead. Always make sure you get either side of your nose real good and get the excess out from here because it looks terrible when someone's looking at you to see, like, this crease of creamy color. White, whatever color you're putting on. And then, whatever direction I went in, I go in the opposite direction to blend. I was going down like that, so now I'm going to go across it. Almost like a crisscross. Just to make sure I've got everything. And then I'm going to probably swirl a bit. Make sure you get your nostrils, y'all. Uh, and then I'm going to swirl a bit just to blend it in good. And to kind of blend down the coverage a little bit. I don't want it too heavy. Let's uh, get by there very, very well. And this way you kind of assure yourself. And then I also kind of pat it in like that. Especially in your heavy pore area on either side of your nose. Just, and all that does is push it down. Alright, then drop your jaw. And make sure you've got no line. Like that. And then just keep blending it down. Make sure you blend it real good by your ear too. You just don't want lines, y'all. Okay. Either side of your nose. And any excess, just kind of blend down. That just kind of sometimes I'll do my um, decollete area just with any leftover just to blend the color. But I've got on so many gold necklaces today that would be just a catastrophe waiting to happen. I'm also gonna blot around my mouth. And any excess will be right there. So I don't know. I actually might hold these up and blend down a little bit because I've got such an open shirt today. Just kind of make sure that the color is getting blended. Okay. Just get my bangs out of the way. So, as you can see, that is very moisturizing. Um, it's almost shiny, which when you're older, that's nice. Just make sure you don't get buildup in any of your heavy wrinkle areas. Just kind of smooth it out. Okay. But I do recommend this. I've been using it for over a week and a half, uh, over a week. About at a week. I think it was last Saturday that I got it. And I've used it off and on all week. And I do really like it. I would recommend it. Especially, it keeps you from having to have a moisturizer. Uh, getting your uh, color tone. Sorry, y'all. I have to do this because I feel like I got a little fuzz inside my nose. And I want to make sure that I don't blend off all my makeup off my nose when I... Whatever am I trying to say? That my nose. Look at all the fuzzes. Tissue has so much fuzz, y'all. All right, so what palette do we want to use today? You know, we've been talking about using palettes that we have. And I'm thinking for blush. Let's just start out with this. I'm going to use this. Uh, I had showed you this that it came out of the drawer from like forever ago. And this is the Ambient um, Blush Palette. And it has uh, Luminous Flush, Incandescent Electra, and Mood Exposure. And the one that I really find I like to use is this Luminous Flush right here. Actually, I wonder if the names are backwards. That may be Mood Exposure. Anyway. I'm going to get a blush brush. This is a, a Morphe R10. And I'm going to dab it right there in this. It's kind of like a grape tone. So it's really great for just contour. It's got a pink, but it's a purple pink almost. And because I have these, I try to come down a little further. Normally you'd stay kind of back up in here, but I, I don't. Because 
I've got chipmunk cheeks. Yeah, right down in there. Yeah, see how it kind of hollows it out a little bit. There. That's also a good color to go under your nose and in your temple area, right across your forehead and back to your temple area real good. Just gives shadow, that's all it does. And then, of course, on your chin. And what does that do? Gives you just, again, a little bit of a shadow. And then, of course, always be sure to blend down so you don't have a line from doing that. And it just kind of makes this little fatty underneath have a shadow and kind of go away. Now I'm going to put a little bit of the pink right on the rosy of my cheek, the apple. Wow, that's really pink. <laughs> And I'm also going to put it on the front part of my, um, by the way, when you do underneath your nose, if you have a large nose like me, breathe out so you don't get powder up in your nose. Go like that. And then just, I also have a bulbous chin, so it's a little overly pink, so we're going to blend that back down to some. Matter of fact, you can use your foundation brush to just get the edges. It's not so bright. Yeah, there, that got a little bright too. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Now what? Now what are we gonna do? Let's go to a different drawer. Let's just go down two drawers and see what we got. What what pops up? What do we get out? The Tartlet in Bloom. That's this palette. And it's the Amazonian clay palette. Here's the colors. It's a very good palette, you guys. This will go into part one and part two, by the way. But um, this has got great neutrals. The most fantastic neutrals, really. You can see it's got a lot of highlighters on the